Hi Drama Nerds, today's drama is about a movie called Shot In. Jessica is a single mother who lives in her grandmother's old house outside the city with her two children, Lainey and Mason. Jessica used to be an addict and decided to start fresh. She is packing up her things to leave the place for the job that she is talking on the phone. She has a flight that night and putting her stuff in the car. Then she goes to check a tiny storage house with a messy little door which cannot be opened from the inside. While in there, the door closes and she gets stuck inside. She calls her daughter and asks her to open the door, but the child is not able to. Then she tries to break the door with a brick but it still fails. She tells Lainey to bring her a tool from the toolbox. Lainey brings a tiny screwdriver but Jessica can't open the door. She needs something stronger and her daughter can't find it. Some time passes and we see Jessica is sitting in there hopeless. Later Lainey says that her father Rob is there to take his toolbox. Jessica who has no other choice asks him to help her and Rob takes her out. Rob is an addict and because of this Jessica keeps him away from the children. She realizes that Rob is high and he brought his friend and Sammy who was accused of child abuse with him. Rob is still trying to get back to Jessica but Jessica doesn't want to and begs him to let her go for the sake of the children. When Jessica wants to call the police, Sammy provokes Rob saying that Jessica doesn't like him anymore. Rob slaps Jessica and throws her back in that little storage room. Lainey comes to the door but Jessica tells her to go into her room and lock the door on herself and her little brother because she is afraid that Sammy harm her children. Also, Jessica begs Rob to open the door but he is not willing to and nails the door and injures Jessica as well. She hears Sammy's voice telling Rob to take his kids to his house. Jessica begs to keep Sammy away from the children. Rob throws some white stuff in for her and tells her that she will not leave unless after using that stuff. Then the door closes and they leave the house. Her husband doesn't want his wife to be clean because then she will leave him. Jessica thinking that they took the children away and cries in despair but after a while she hears Lainey's little footsteps. She asks Lainey to go and lock the outside door of the house. Then she asks what happened to Rob. Lainey says that he nailed the door. Jessica tells her daughter to find her phone but Lainey can't. A few hours later, Lainey comes and says that she is hungry but all the food is in the car and Rob took the car key. The only food left in the house is Jessica's grandmother's apple jams. She pours some of it into a dish and gives it to her daughter and tells her that her brother should also eat. It is night and the poor mother is sleeping on the ground. Lainey is also laying on the other side of the door because she is afraid of being alone. The next day, she gives apple jam to the children again and realizes her wound is not doing very well. She asks Lainey to find something hard and metal to open the door but the kid doesn't understand what she means by that and it is frustrating for Jessica. A few minutes later, Lainey returns with a screwdriver. Jessica gets excited and thanks her baby. Then he starts digging the floor to find the way down into the basement. But her excitement didn't last long as Sammy, her husband's friend, is there. Jessica panics and asks Lainey to lock the door again on herself and her brother. Sammy comes to the door and tells Jessica that he wants to take Lainey away because Rob owes him some money. When Sammy wants to go upstairs, Jessica offers to give him the powder that Rob gave her earlier. But first, Sammy must open the door for her. Sammy accepts the offer in which he will leave them alone but won't let Jessica out because he doesn't want to do anything against Rob, his friend. Jessica tells him that she has no other choice. If he really leave them alone, she will give it to him. When Sammy sticks his hand inside for the white shirt, Jessica stabs his hand with a screwdriver and penetrates it deep by a brick and pins Sammy on the ground right in front of the door. Sammy screams and swears at Jessica, then starts begging. Jessica doesn't pay attention and continues to dig the ground. Sammy tries to provoke her to use it again, saying she will not be clean to others no matter how much she tries. Eventually, she will return to drugs because an addict is always an addict. Jessica cuts his hand again to shut him up. It's night time and there is a storm outside and their electricity is not stable. Little Lainey is scared and comes down the stairs to her mother. Sammy grabs her and threatens Jessica. Jessica is terrified by this and begs him to let her go and there is nothing that she can do unless his hand is in there. So she pours liquor on Sammy's hand and sets his hand on fire. That poor hand though. Anyway, unfortunately, the fire also spread in the room and Jessica has to put it off. If not, she will die in there. Sammy is burned badly and Lainey's voice stops coming. Then Jessica wraps herself with a blanket and falls asleep out of exhaustion. The next morning, she calls Lainey to make sure that she is fine but she does not get an answer. There is a lot of pressure on Jessica. She prepares to use it again after being clean for a long time. Just then, she notices a Bible and holds it. When she looks closely, she sees a dollar in the middle of her grandmother's book. She opens through the pages and sees that dollars are stuck on most of the pages. This was her grandmother who wanted Jessica to read 
immediate and to stay strong. Then she finds a note in which it says how to make the best apple butter. Jessica gets emotional but then throws the book away to the cross on the wall because these things cannot save her after all. The cross falls. When Jessica checking on it, she sees water dripping from the ceiling. She tries to break the roof and realizes that it is not hard at all because the woods are worn out due to the water and moist. She wants to remove the screwdriver from Sammy's hand but before that she checks to see if he is alive. Then she continues to tear the roof until she breaks out. The hallway is full of apples and the bedroom door is locked. Jessica breaks the door and goes into the room. The room is a mess and something is crumbled under the blankets. Jessica is scared and pulls away the blankets while imagining the worst. But she finds her two children sleeping in there. The children are hungry. She takes them downstairs and takes Sammy's car key but it is still stormy outside. Rob took his car keys and Jessica can't go anywhere with the car. She is like maybe the car door is open. She tries her luck but the door is locked. She has no choice but to break the car window to take the food. When they are rushing inside, Lainey drops the biscuit on the floor. Then she asks her mother to bring them for her. When Jessica goes to get the biscuits, she notices Sammy is standing behind the window and is still alive. Jessica is horrified by this and she rushes inside but she finds the door locked. She breaks the glasses and rushes toward the sound of children crying and finds them where Sammy is holding them. Jessica begs him to let her babies go but Sammy wants revenge. Just then, Rob comes in and shoots Sammy. <laughs> Jessica takes the babies, then her husband asks her for money, and she tells him that her grandmother left some money in that storage room and he can take it. Rob opens the door and starts collecting the money. Jessica begs him to let them go, but Rob does not accept and he wants to see her to use drugs again. He asks Jessica to do it together like before. Jessica, who knows that Rob is very dangerous, cooperates with him, but first she asks him to bring the rest of the food from the car. When Rob is out, Jessica makes him an apple butter sandwich. Rob is very excited when he returns. And and he thinks that Jessica is getting better with him because she agreed to use drugs again like before. He eats the sandwich and goes to prepare the ingredients because they don't want the children to see this. They go to the other room and Rob uses first. Jessica tries to buy some time and says that she's not ready for it just yet. Rob gets angry and points the gun at her. He brutally grabs her and forces her to tie her hand and to do it. After that, when Rob feels dizzy and high, Jessica takes the opportunity and runs away and goes to the bedroom. She is attempting to jump down the window, but at the same time, Rob comes and holds her against the wall to force her to inject. Then suddenly he gets sick because of the drugs. Jessica tells him that she put the ingredients that he gave her in the sandwich. Rob is overdosing. When he threatens her, she pushes him out of the window and kills him. The last scene shows some time later when Jessica has changed her mind and she has not left her grandmother's place and decided to stay and live by selling apple butter. Her business looks good and the happy little family lives together.